City College of San Francisco is located today has a long and colorful past. During 1849 to 1936, the area housed what was known as the House of Refuge, a correctional facility for troubled youth, and later San Francisco County Jail. Just as this particular area has changed over the years, so has San Francisco in general. It was a drastically different place during the gold rush. It was a wild city, <laughs> put it mildly, because the gold rush had brought in all sorts of different people. And it was lawless, there were, there were vigilante groups to maintain control. And uh, it was not a city I think any of us would want it to live in, uh, because it was basically the survival of the fittest. It was immediately a world-class, world-famous city. Uh, it, uh, of course, attracted people from around the world for the gold rush, the opportunities for quick wealth, and uh, only a very few were fortunate enough to make money in the gold mines. So in this context, uh, you have children who are growing up, impressionable kids, and they're seeing that um, you know, certain behaviors are not being punished. Uh, early references go back as early as 1851 of 14-year-old boys who were on the chain gang because of their criminal activities. There are others who are mentioned in the context of uh, the need for a house of uh, refuge, which was the generic term for juvenile facility in 1851. The house of refuge was authorized by state legislation in, uh, in 1852. It was put in at the time because there were children that were arriving in the cities and some of the parents abandoned the children. Uh, others of the children uh, simply got into pro trouble, especially the teenage children, and all sorts of activities they were involved with, and there were children that broke laws. It almost seems as though the big question was, what are we going to do about Bob Durkin and his gang? And Bob Durkin was a uh, nine, ten-year-old who, through charisma or whatever, had a gang of, of kids in San Francisco that were essentially terrorizing uh, the city. So in 1858, all the necessary pieces came together, thanks to Bob Durkin, and uh, construction began on what became known as the Industrial School, which is San Francisco's specific term or title for the generic House of Refuge or uh, Juvenile Reformatory. The reason they put it out here was because they wanted the children to do farming, because they would grow their own crops and feed themselves and then they would sell the surplus, which would then provide money for the operation of the school. So it was supposed to be self-sustaining. And the placement of the school was they wanted to place the school on it where science building is now. It almost seems like something out of Oliver Twist with a touch of um, Lord of the Flies. It was a, um, a witch's brew of combinations of very, very young kids, as young as two years old, uh, to hardened teenage uh, criminals in, in, in the same environment. And it included, for the first 10 years, boys and girls together. At the end of the first year, the uh, people who were in charge, they were officially called the managers, essentially admitted, looking back after their first year of operation, that they didn't know what they were getting themselves into. It was pretty graphic how a couple of boys were uh, tied, beaten, but the bottom line was that the uh, people who were accused of doing it, admitted having done it, uh, said that it was necessary and uh, there were no consequences to them. Uh, in 1874, 1875, you get the jail being put in. Jail had, uh, that jail was built and had 200 cells in it. And the cells were six by nine feet, which is not very big. And they put two in each cell. So, uh, and that was for hardened criminals. Now, the school still operated until uh, about 1880. But uh, at that point, the problem came in that there were too many criminals and the young people were being influenced by the criminals, so they decided to close the school down. It was causing a lot of problems because it was where it was. The, the, the city was catching up to it. When it was uh, first established in the 1850s, San Francisco was five miles away, and one of the criticisms was that it's too far away from the city. Over the years, over the decades, the city gradually spread out. Uh, fine homes and, and neighborhoods were being constructed around the House of Refuge lot, around the county jail, and this isn't something that uh, people were happy about having in their backyard, even though 
that was there first. And then you get the uh, school coming in in 1935. Since then, City College of San Francisco has used the land to educate millions of students and further their educational goals. The current campus is still undergoing changes in construction that will certainly benefit generations of students to come. I think it's kind of good actually that instead of a prison system, we have an education system, so I think that's a positive change. I guess they put better use to it and made it a school, so that's better than a jail. I live in the neighborhood and I'd rather have a city college than a prison as my neighbor. <laughs>